Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a DIY for you guys and it's a do it yourself and I'm going to be showing you how to dye a top with bleach. It's really easy to do and I'm going to be showing you two ways to achieve this beautiful homemade, I think, um, top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and here are the materials. So, first you're going to need a shirt or a top. You can get any top, anything, but these were like $2. So, it was really inexpensive. A scissor. Bleach. Hair. Elastic hair ties. A spray bottle. With some bleach on it. Or in it. So, let's get started. And here is the first step. So I'm just cutting the tag. Awesome. So you want to start off cutting the sleeves. I really want to cut the sleeves so it's more sleek or more, I don't know, more different or something. Just a total tra transformation. So I decided to do that. And I'm just going to fix a little craziness that I just left there. And now let's go to the other sleeve and just cut it. It's really easy to do, so. And it's going to turn out like that. It's going to look really pretty. Well, it's not that pretty, but it looks like refreshness in the shirt. I don't know. So you're going to cut the neck of the shirt. Really easy to do, too. So let's go to the second step, is to <laughs> bleach it. Yes, that's the name. And with the elastic hair tie, I'm just going to tie the lower part of the shirt, or the bottom top, the bottom part of the shirt, and to just decide the length I do want the bleach to go. I just want to do like an ombre look. So just do that. It's a lot easier to do and work with, so it's not like really messy so take the bleach in a pot and just pour some into the shirt and just pat it or do something that it's easier for you so you can get all the product nice in that part i recommend to wear gloves if you're allergic to the bleach or you just feel it's going to damage your hands but i really was i didn't thought of that really <laughs> so it's going to turn out really wet and stuff so i'm just going to squeeze all the excess of bleach so it just looks better. And now taking the spray bottle that's it has some Clorox and just spray some random parts of the shirt so it looks really crazy, like really unique or something. And it's gonna look like that. All wet. So just gonna put it in some place that the sun just just hit it directly. So it's a lot faster when it's gonna go dry or anything. So just let it dry for a few hours, even a day if you want. So I'm just going to be showing you some different occasions how it looks, the shirt, when it was dry. It was drying or something. I'm just going to be showing you some different videos so you can see how it's turning. So I took the elastic and I really like how it's the effect that gave on the bottom. So it was turning like that. So yeah, you just got to keep you know, you can do a lot of designs with that and everything. And I almost forgot. I was going to tell you guys that when it's all dried, d since it has a lot of Clorox and the smell is super, super hard and really, really not good, um, I recommend it to get a pot and just pour a lot of water in and just pour the shirt into the pot. So all the excess of Clorox just goes out and everything that is not good just goes out and everything so you can put it on the machine and you just can wash it nice with other clothing so it doesn't get damaged other things and everything so i really want to tell you guys that so you just know and everything so yes do that i just didn't show that because you know woohoo so this is the completely shirt it's all dried and everything and looks really fun and so 
cool. I'm just really excited to do all those, um, just to watch it and everything. So, thanks for watching, guys, and like this video if you love it.